things I love to do is examining the contents of North American pitcher plants during the winter time. I'll have to find out exactly what's been forming in today's pitchers. In this video, I'll be examining the contents of a beautiful species of North American pitcher plant called the Saracenia lacopla. They're legendary when it comes to catching houseflies. In this video, I'm going to find out whether that claim is true. My name is Jerry from Succulent Fly Trap. So these pictures are from a plant called Saracenia lacophila. The form is called Red Veins. This particular plant, this exact plant, featured quite heavily on my Facebook page during autumn. The reason is because Saracenia lacophila typically produce their biggest and best pictures around about autumn or fall. Now this particular variety formed beautiful white pictures with red veins and there was always insects around the tops of these pictures particularly houseflies. So I'm going to find out, I've cut these pictures open, I'm going to find out closely whether in fact it's just houseflies or other insects as well that have been caught. So here's an open picture and straight away I can see here these large insects. They to me look like moths. I do see bogon moths often fluttering around the tops of these pitches at night with my torch and often I see them falling in. They really do must add plenty of protein uh, to the plant. Now these smaller insects here look like houseflies. Let's have a look at another picture. So these pictures are all from the same plant. Wow, this picture here looks more consistent in terms of the insects that it's caught, looking at the size of these insects, they to me look like houseflies as well. And look how packed it is, all the way down to the base of the uh, pitcher. And that there looks like moths. Let's have a look at another one here. Here we go, another one. Another moth here. More houseflies. Wow, they really are living up to their name when it comes to fly catchers, really. Again, these look like houseflies. That there, don't know, don't know what that is. That looks like a cockroach of some sort. I do often see cockroaches as well at night. I've even got a video of one being trapped and caught on my YouTube video. So yeah, it just goes to show the variety of insects that are being caught by these pitcher plants. And it appears that they, or well, it proves that they work day and night. Now, I just want to give you a rundown of these pitchers and how they work. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see there are these hairs there on the hood of this pitcher. Now, those hairs are pointing towards the pitcher. That's to encourage the insects to move towards the pitcher where it is more slipperier. Now as the insect goes to the neck here of the hood, there is more nectar, but at the same time it also becomes more slipperier. There's also less hairs there as well. And then of course the deeper they go in, the more slippery it becomes and eventually they fall in. And once they fall in, it's almost impossible for them to crawl out. And that's because of this waxy coating on the inside of these pitchers. It really is slippery and it prevents the insects from gaining a foothold on that waxy coating. So yeah, so there's a rundown of what my pitchers have been catching. Of course, the type of insects that your pitchers are catching will determine on where you live, what time of the year, uh, it is, and other factors as well, but yeah, it just gives you a bit of a rundown. 